Curious as to how the real estate market is doing? Wondering if it's a good time to buy or sell? Have the prices gone up? Watch my video and get ready to be informed on what's going on in your real estate market. Thanks for tuning in to Monty's Market Metrics. It's your boy Nick Monteleone with Century 21 Showtime Realty, bringing you the information that you need regarding your real estate market. Before we dive into what's going on in the real estate market, let me quickly introduce myself for those who don't know me. Again, my name is Nick Monteleone and I'm a sales representative, a part of a great sales team called Team Monty. We actually have three sales staff as well as three support staff providing the best care possible for each of our clients in every transaction. When you hire one, you hire all. We have a deals coordinator, a client care specialist, and a marketing director above our sales team as well. We have an incredible service and a great reputation. Check us out on Facebook or our website. Now let's take a look at what the market is doing in your area. Let's take a look at the market snapshot. Comparing August 2019 to August 2018, we've seen some incredible results. We have 21% increase in number of listings, 2% increase in the number of sales. You're selling your house quicker by 10% this year in August compared to 2018 August. Uh, and also the average sale price has increased by 9%. Those numbers are astonishing. We're super excited about it, indicating that we have a very active and positive market. If we wanna look at a year to date span, so meaning January to August, um, compared from, from 2019 to 2018, we're looking at a 20% increase in listings, 7% increase in sales, as well as a 22% quicker sale uh, in, in this year versus last year, as well as a 16% increase in uh, actual dollars in, in the average sale price. So the, uh, the market is incredibly active and we're super excited about it. For those visual learners, let's take a look at a uh, graph. So looking at a graph, we're showing that sales has continuously increased on a positive trend since roughly 2010. Um, now 2016, 2017 were incredible years, very active. Uh, they ended up having some of the best numbers that we've seen in, in a long, long time. We have seen a dip since those crazy years, those, those crazy couple years of, of sales. Um, with that said, we're still showing a very strong market, a very positive market, uh, looking at a 10 year trend. If you're looking at more of a percentages approach, uh, looking at since 2010, we've had a 34% increase in sales, still showing exceptionally strong. Again, we have seen a dip since that 2016, 2017 market, but again, those were kind of anomaly years and very, very powerful years. We're still showing a very positive trend over a 10 year span. Now let's take a look at what the average days to sell a house is. So looking at a graph, roughly in that 100 dollars to $450,000 range, you can expect a really quick sale anywhere between roughly 14 to 20 days. Those are the average number of days to sell in that price range. The higher up the house goes in value, you can anticipate a longer sale time. So as you get up towards that $900,000 plus range, you're looking anywhere in that 82 to 83 uh, average days on the market. So uh, it's, it's still showing a very active market, very quick sales, especially in that main uh, dollar range between that 100 to $500,000. Uh, very quick sales going on, especially compared to the previous years. And I'll show you that right now. So looking at a roughly a 10 year span, we've seen a rapid reduction in the time that it takes to sell a house. Look at 2009, we had 79 days on the market as the average, that's incredible. So from there, we've gone faster and faster uh, for days on the market to the point now we're at a year to date of 18 days on average to sell a home. That's incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, that goes to show you that the market is hot and active and people are moving. So let's take a look now at what's selling. What, what are the average uh, uh, houses uh, worth? Um, so you see most of the sales are in that 100,000 to roughly $500,000. Um, obviously that's the, the majority of, of the volume. So that goes to show where a lot of the statistics are driven from. And now let's look at the average sale price over a 10 year span. As you can see, since 2009, we've had a rapid increase and a consistent increase in the home value and in, in the average sale price, uh, which is a great thing because even 2016 and 2017, which were crazy years in the market for us, we had incredible sales. 
the value has still increased. The, the average sale price is still on the rise right now. So it's great for people taking advantage of it. They're still capitalizing on the returns and it's a phenomenal outcome for sellers, uh, especially in, in, this, in this scenario. For those that are more into the percentages, let's take a look at what's going on in regards to the sale price over a 10 year span. Since 2009, ladies and gentlemen, it's crazy. I can't believe 121% increase in the average sale price since 2009. If we're looking at those crazy years of 2016 and 17 where the market was super hot, we still had a 50 and 28% increase since those periods in the average sale price. That goes to show us that the market is still on a great incline. We're still doing exceptionally well. The, the value of houses is still growing at a rapid rate and sellers are really taking advantage of this. If you're looking for more information on the real estate market or on the buying and selling process, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Get a hold of me through a myriad of ways. I'm always connected and ready to respond to my messages. Thanks so much for your time. I look forward to hearing from you. Call now.